Good. Um, so my first career goal, how do you feel when we I definitely felt pretty good. I mean, I still think I'd rather have a big hit out there, but you know, anything you know to help the team. You know, boys are buzzing tonight, and uh, you know, it's great to pick up the W here in the so It's a big club, especially at home. So hopefully we can uh, pick up two more points tomorrow at home on senior night, and uh, maybe lock up some uh, home ice for hockey's playoffs. It sounded like you had a pretty big reception when you came back into the locker room there after you did your uh, TV interview. So, like... Yeah, the boys are pretty fired up. I mean. You know, everybody's been pulling for me, I guess. It's been a, a long way, I guess, into the lineup. Um, especially uh, having, you know, walked onto the team and not really, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I uh, didn't really have a lot of respect initially. I mean, guy, all, obviously all the guys are my, my friends, but, uh, you know, they uh, they helped me out and they, uh, they stuck with me, so they were happy for me. So when you when you joined the team initially, did you ever expect to be, like, playing, let alone score a goal? Um, to be honest with you, uh, I thought that goal would have come a long time ago. I've been there training to be a BU hockey player my entire life, and uh, you know, I don't know. It was, I think my tenth or eleventh game, and you know, that's a pretty, pretty big score and drought for me in my uh, in my long hockey career. So I knew one was going to come, I guess. But uh, it's definitely good to help the team win, and you know, anything I can do. I saw Coach Parker patting your helmet when you got back to the bench. Did he say anything to you? Yeah, he said he was definitely he was proud of me. He uh, he just said he was proud of me. He, he knows the road I've been through and uh, he knows how hard I've worked to uh, you know get in the lineup and you know just prove myself and get, get a shot. And I owe a lot to him. He's uh, he's been the best to me. So he was he was happy for me for sure. If we told you 15 months ago that you'd be scoring for BU hockey and doing interviews on CBS Sports. What would you have said? I would have said, uh, I would have said, yeah. I think uh, you know anything's possible, especially you know if you look at my path to uh, to the BU hockey team, uh, it's pretty abnormal. So I'm just kind of an example. You know, if you just work hard and keep a positive attitude, you know anything could happen. Who had the best reaction? Uh, I have to say uh, Ben Rosen for sure. He was the first guy. Uh, he was the first guy leaning over. He was, he's, he's been my buddy since before I came to BU. I played against him in juniors, and he was one of the guys that, you know, was uh, really helpful in, you know, meeting the guys before I joined, joined the team. And he was, you know, always pulling for me, helping me, you know, going and talk to coach when I did get pulled up. So uh, I think he was happiest for me on the bench. And I know uh, Matt Ronan in the stands, he was definitely uh, fired up. And my, probably my roommate, too, uh, J.P. Buckley. I think, uh, you know, everyone was fired up, you know. I think, uh, and how do you think your lines been playing together lately? Yeah. Oh, I think uh, you know I I think they make me look pretty good. Uh, you know we just uh, try to be another B in the hive. And we try to just go out there and buzz and you know do anything, get pucks deep, uh, lay the body, do anything, you know play sound defensively, and you know anything that comes uh, offensively is extra. And I think uh, you know it's really easy playing with Santana and uh, Mike Moran because. You know, they, they just work hard and I just feed off their energy. And obviously, uh, Newton is hard, but uh, this is a chance for Ronan to get in the lineup. Uh, how does uh, Ronan in the lineup? I mean, he spent a lot of time this year watching the game the Yeah, I mean, I've been up there with him. I know how it feels, but I know he's kept a positive attitude, too. And he's working hard, and I know he's going to be ready if, uh, if Coach calls his number. I mean, he had two great games up in Maine uh, a couple weeks ago, and Coach knows he can play. I mean, he can play forward, he can play D, and... Uh, you know, I think he's, if he gets a chance, he'll be excited. I know, uh, I know, Coach will trust him up there. Coach mentioned you might be back next year. Yeah, there's a possibility. I talked to him about. It. I have another year of eligibility, and uh, my schooling isn't uh, my credits-wise after transferring. A lot of credits didn't transfer in, so I think uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good right now. I just got to lock up uh, the eligibility. Talk to. I've, I've been trying to figure out what the deal is with my eligibility and. There's a, there's a minor snafu with that, but hopefully it can get all cleared up and be back next year. What's the snafu? Um, it's like last year I didn't play, but I guess there's some stuff that said that I dressed a game last year when I didn't. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just a little minor roadblock. So we'll see what happens if we can get cleared up. Jake, I hope I'm not making you repeat everything, but uh, you look like you just played a goal scorer's touch on that, uh, that play. Can you just talk to me? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've been uh, doing some extra stuff with uh, with Perte, our director of hockey operations, and uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I 
I can score some goals. I have a little bit of the score as such, but uh, I don't think that's my game really. I'm more of a, a grinder and uh, uh, I don't know, I like, to, I like to hit guys, I guess. That's more of my game. So. It was a pretty big smile you had when you did score, though, and a pretty good reaction from the bench. What were your thoughts uh, when you went back? Oh, yeah, the boys are fired up, but I mean, you know, they're, we're always fired up whenever anybody scores, whether it's, you know, a, a guy that, like, you know, is just or, you know, whether it's a guy like myself who just, you know, doesn't really get that opportunity. We're always fired up. We love yeah. goals. And, uh, you know, anything we can do to help the team, you know, that's good. Fired up. So, did anybody get the puck for you? Or? No, it's you have to ask me. I don't know what happened. I didn't get to go and grab it. We just transfer in from? I uh, transferred from the University of New England. Oh, okay. I've been a bit of a friend. Yeah. Played D3 there for three semesters. And, uh, Are you the Penman? Pilgrims? No, that's, you're thinking of... Uh, we can no, that's uh, Snoo. That's someone in Hampshire. Oh, okay. University of Maine, Nor'easters, yeah. What is that? Nor'easters. Nor'easters. Okay. BC, UNH, UN. Yeah, very good. Thank you.